Hey Sagittarius, this is Ascension Empress with your August love reading. This reading will be for singles and couples, so I will have this video timestamp. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. What? Yes, okay. <laughs> In your power, I see. Let me change this line a little bit. Okay. All right, so may peace and blessings be upon you all thank you again so much for all your support welcome if you are new please like share and subscribe do not forget to like this video okay that helps me you know get an understanding of who is more interactive and then who needs bonus who wants bonus readings all right so yeah i love this i'm loving this energy y'all are standing up for your beliefs okay your boundaries this a new system as well somebody's implementing a new system so we getting right into it y'all this is for my sun moon or rising sagittarius make sure y'all go follow oh yep see y'all go subscribe to our fellow tribe she's been supporting this channel for some time consistently through the leo and sagittarius readings she has her own channel doing tarot as well and her name is the warrior viking queen okay so make sure y'all go check her out yes look okay and I love this energy. I love this energy. The synchronicities and all. Okay. Many of y'all are um you protect your energy. You like if you're not talking marriage and the empire, uh what's really going on? All right. So we're gonna see what's going on generally and then we'll see what's going on with my singles. If you got some, you know, it's complicated energy, just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. All right, yep. See, okay, you got the five of swords. Oh, I said the five of swords. Yeah, that's been strong, y'all. Okay, so I feel like y'all were in a five of swords energy for you to be right here, okay? Or some of y'all are like, I'm not even going to waste my time with the talking or anything. I'm just going to show, okay? Because there's the wands here and there's a lot of peace, okay? I feel like y'all are defending your peace of mind, um, a separation as well. Some of y'all are like, you know, yeah, you are you definitely put more than one foot down, all right? And you got a lot of people sitting down. You again that's like y'all last reading like move get out the way okay and that was y'all general energy for august so ten of pentacles seems to be on your mind seems to be a priority i feel like there's also a lot of support there may be a really nice contract that is coming forward a commitment that y'all may have to defend i'm here and show up for all right spirit is saying don't stress you got this especially with the four of swords here and the seven of wands what do we need to know spirit about this higher fine energy look two of wands all right spirit is saying believe that regardless of you know who you end up with okay spirit <laughs> who you end up with which way you go how you do it as long as you are protecting your energy and standing up for your beliefs it, it's going it's going in just fine that's what spirit is saying all right what else would you like them to know about this three of cups in the past i also feel like y'all are making it very clear that you don't do third party situations okay whether that's other people all up in it you know trying to you know add yeah add to the mix okay i don't see any thoughts living rent free they get in the way of this ten of pentacles right here okay so you could have you know left some old recreational behavior and some connections behind i feel like y'all are just like mm -mm. Okay, because you know what time it is. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, with the higher fund, the two of wands. Look now. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have? Clarify the three of cups. Yep, see, tower. Tower. They had to fall out, okay? They had to fall out. There was probably a falling out because of a third-party energy. And, and just like it's, it's no. <laughs> no, all right? What do you want Sagittarius to know about the seven of wands energy, Spirit? Look, look, see? Yes, Spirit. Wow. Okay, they want you to know, yes, you've been guided. Okay, no hard feelings. They like the way you're going about it. Because we've been having the Eight of Wands for some time now. And it's been speaking to, you know, how we going to speak life into a situation. Virgo's been getting that energy lately, too. But, you know, how are you going to deliver this, this new stance? Okay, something around communication because there was a separation. There is a separation for some of y'all where, you know, you're not talking a time. You're just taking the time to yourself, the space. Okay, definitely, you know, letting people fall out the tower because clearly this is happening so that this can happen. 
Okay, it, I don't. Spirit is saying it's not gonna get built. It's not gonna get built with them. Why you constantly have to, you know, fight off? Yeah, y'all, that was in the weekly energy. Okay, even loved ones. Yep, maybe people who have supported you in the past. Now they're in secret competition. Okay, and I see y'all separate separating yourself from you. Okay, so they may see you moving forward um, with someone you can build with. All right, what else do you want Sagittarius to know? Yep. Discretion is advised, y'all. The moon energy. They're also telling you to, you, yes, follow your intuition. Okay, yep, yep, it's coming in. It's coming in. There's a message coming in. And if y'all have been wondering what's going on, okay, if there has been a separation, definitely from a marriage is what I'm getting. It's coming in. Okay, what is this not a sword spirit? What is not a sword spirit? Yep, temperance. Mm. Mm. Look now, okay. <laughs> this card i feel like we might as well create a temperance deck okay because the collective has been trying to find temperance so whoever this is that i'm hearing you probably didn't hear from got you moving forward you didn't cut your losses you like i'm gonna be good regardless they've been trying to temper themselves or maybe wait until you're tempered as well as what i'm getting okay but it looked like you so tempered you don't want nothing to do it <laughs> All right, so let's see what's the overall message. Then we're gonna see what singles got going. Okay, one more spirit. Yup, yup, strength card. Okay, and I was about to say trench. So it's gonna be some hard work. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, king of swords. Okay, like I said, you've become very clear now. Okay, especially if somebody left you to be like, yeah, oh, Sagittarius already like to be free now. Okay, I already don't mind in me time. Okay, so I feel like y'all have just become even more clear that you can stay where you're at yeah with the seven of wands okay it's interesting because in that general reading y'all had an energy around um people being mad feeling some type of way all right and also probably because you know you have been tempering yourself you are this sagittarius temperance energy okay so people may be trying to come in and disturb this you know strength energy that you got going on because you are standing on your beliefs, you're looking very good. You are expressing yourself through your actions and not saying much at all, okay, because you're protecting your peace. And people people want to come and disturb that. But they got the Knight of Swords coming for the King of Swords. You'll go from you'll go from that Six of Swords to the King of Swords real quick. Okay. She was like, You tried I'm, yeah, I'm hearing you tried to be nice. Oh, spirit, yes. Let's see, what else? Yes. As soon as I said what else? You don't, the spirit's in, you don't need to know nothing else, okay? There is going to be some resentment. Somebody feeling's going to be hurt, okay? Maybe even playing victim, all right? But the, you got up. You seen that seven of wands, okay? You got up. They can get up, all right? Let's see. Whew, spirit. What messages do you have for my single Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising? What messages do you have? Okay, yeah, working, focus, okay, not, okay, right, right. Many of y'all are focused on your career is what I'm getting, okay? It looks like you got your head down, you working on a plan, and then you working on another plan while that plan is like, its fruit is coming into fruition. I just see y'all, yeah, and then boom, a whole new cycle as well. This is very, very interesting, y'all. Okay, let's see what's underlying the reading spirit. Ooh, five of Swords, exactly. So that's that Five of Swords energy I was picking up on. Okay, so it looks like y'all cut y'all. Yeah, okay, so you're cutting your losses at the same time. It looks like there may have been something you were working on in the past, and a less. Yeah, I'm hearing you've learned that lesson. You're like, look, I'm not. I spent enough time and energy. And you don't even have reg regrets, okay? I feel like some of y'all are kind of proud that, you know, you experience what you experience. But it looks like you are incorporating that now into whatever this new chapter is with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, what do we have going forward, Spirit? Wow, yes, definitely, okay? Ooh, ooh, all right, okay. So Spirit also just emphasized that you may have to, you know, uh, one temperate yeah you're gonna have to temper this five of swords energy when this new love comes in okay because i feel like y'all did have to you know get a little a little specific with who what what you're not gonna deal with what you won't say okay certain ways of handling things okay because yeah there's something new being created for you being brought to you okay i feel like y'all have been working 
some of y'all been working with y'all ancestors is what I'm getting with the three of pentacles or you've been letting them know. I just, I picture a feminine energy here expressing to spirit what they want in a connection, okay? And with the lover's card and that's coming in. That's coming in to, uh, you have a soulmate connection definitely coming in is what I'm getting, okay? It could be a Gemini as well. What else do you want? Spirits, okay? Yeah. Clarify this three of pentacles spirit. Yeah, everything is fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the four of swords and the star. Right. Right. Okay, so again, there were some lessons learned in the past. You like been there, done that, heard it all before. Okay, three of pentacles. This new energy. I'm hearing a new investment. Okay, you may have there was a time that you were pretending like everything is fine, but you are no longer pretending. That's why this ace of cups is here. Okay, this Ace of Cups ain't pretend. That is straight from the heavens. And it's coming in a connection. Let's see, Spirit. Yep, King of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be... I'm hearing a business connection. So, somebody who is going to be, you know, not only your lover, but also your business partner, okay? They are going to be reliable. They're going to be consistent. Okay, it could be... that. Oh, I'm getting Aquarius energy as well. It could be an Earth sign. Okay, someone someone who's experiencing their Saturn return or, you know, a lot of this Saturn energy as well is what I'm getting because it looks like they're wrapping up a cycle. They're experiencing their rewards too while you're, you know, reflecting out here and drafting up a plan while you're in this maybe separation, maybe, yeah, still cutting your losses with, you know, what may be lingering. And all the, I'm hearing all the time that you invested, okay, with the everything is fine. I just feel like you're you trying to you're trying to make amends with it. Some of y'all y'all made amends with it. You like I'm not even gonna stress myself out over how much work and time I put in to this past connection or I'm, I'm here and work too. All right, because you're being blessed, you're being rewarded with what you deserve. I'm, but some of y'all, it's not even in it's in the past. You just you about to get it in the future. Okay, the tables are turning and judgment is here for a lot of the signs. Fear what? What do you have for this Ace of Cups? Yep, justice. Justice. I said judgment is here for all the signs. And here is your justice. I'd rather have justice from, you know, God and, you know, the heavens. And let that let that be my karma. And then that other, you know, because I feel like somebody may have sabotaged something as well. So what's the Five of Swords here, Spirit? What's this Five of Swords? Yep, Ace of Wands. Okay, could have been because of... Um, mm -hmm, a sexual encounter, okay, because there could have been a third party situation that you separated yourself from, okay, and I get spirit is aware of that. Spirit is like, you know, I'm all, I'm all up in this. I'm right here, okay. You don't have to worry about three parties unless it's me that's involved. All right. Yep. Look, page of swords, page of swords. Ooh, wee. Okay, so I feel like there may be someone watching as well. Someone definitely from the past may be watching you. Okay, someone was very immature with their words. They didn't think. You may have been, yeah, I feel like you were still working at it, even regardless of what they said. I don't think they were mindful of either how they communicated or not communicating. This person seemed to not communicate. They watched you more than they communicated with you. Okay, and I feel like you felt like you were putting in a lot of work with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and take it how it resonates with you because I know this is singles. Okay, but the energy come in how it come. All right, and you clearly have this everything is fine here with the Eight of Pentacles. And you, you protect your energy like this is playing a huge role. All right, so let's see, Spirit. What do you want them to know? Yep, yeah, see, see, look at that progression four, five, and six. Okay, so y'all are moving forward calmer waters you're being led okay i'm hearing all you want you yeah you want to work with spirit and what spirit has to offer and i feel like spirit's like okay well show us you know paint, paint us a picture express yes it's expression okay your vision boards as well as what i'm getting okay your sacral chakra is not blocked it's bringing in a lot of very very high vibrational energy okay stability as well career opportunities what do we need to know about the king of pentacles spirit yep Y'all, what did I say? Judgment. Judgment. Your status, this upgrade, what you've earned, the respect, okay? What this is coming in is judgment for you. 
What do you want, Sagittarius? Singles to be aware of, Spirit. What do you want, Sagittarius? Yes. Yes. Okay. Whole new perspective. They said, look at this. Different. We, we, they said when this tower happened or if this tower happened, we need you to be a student. We need you to be a student. You said you want to work with them, right? Your guys, your ancestors tap in. They know what you want. They know what you want. They got what you want, y'all. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and see. What ancestor message do you have for my Sagittarius singles? Because they coming true. They coming through strong. Okay, I said coming true. Okay, yes, spirit. What ancestor messages do you have for my Sagittarius singles? Queen of Cups. Yes, King of Cups. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. That is true. That's true love. That I mean, some of y'all got a couple. There is an ancestor, masculine and feminine energy with so much love and so much healing to pour down on you. Okay, they're like praying. You praying and they praying even harder, y'all. Okay, like let that cup overflow. Let Sagittarius' love come in for Sagittarius. They see. <sighs> y'all. This is the love that y'all, the love that y'all putting out. They come in the same person. This same person is praying for the same thing, y'all. It's coming in. Divine timing, temperance. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the couples. Okay, because I'm excited for y'all. All right, Spirit. What messages do we have? Let's see. What messages do we have for my Sagittarius couples? What messages do we have for my Sagittarius couples? Ooh, ten of wands. Okay, so somebody may be working on something. All right, look, eight. There we go. And I said eight something. All right, so this may be a very yep justice card and the ten of wands. Right. Okay, so somebody moving on. Somebody's definitely moving on. Okay, I see. There is a connection that is ending, and it's be. Is going to be burdening for someone. Because um, I do see someone moving out. Like physically moving their stuff. These are wands. Not just the swords. Okay. But I'm also seeing. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini or Libra. I feel this new chapter. Whatever is being balanced out. In the, yeah look at the bottom of the deck. Y'all got the ten of cups. Ooh okay so this is definitely. Someone. There, there's a connection. There's a marriage here. And either y'all have come back together, things are being balanced out, but it's going to take work is what spirit is saying. Or this is, this is going to take a lot of work on somebody else's part. Let's see spirit. What's going on? Underline the reading. Let's see. Yeah. Three of swords. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel like people are trying to work on something. Okay. In a connection. Now, justice is here. Somebody may be experiencing the karma of their decisions of a separation. Okay, there may be a separation. I definitely, yeah, I'm getting multiple storylines. So take what resonates with you, but I'm definitely getting the separation here. I'm, I'm getting an ending. Someone moving on, feeling burdened, all right, with all of their stuff as well. What's going on overlaying the reading? Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, mm. this looks like a very certain decision. But I'm also hearing it is necessary with the, yep, dang, death card. As soon as I said it's necessary, okay? So there's a transformation happening here. I feel like either this connection is transforming or it's no longer, it, it's, uh, yeah, Spirit saying it doesn't serve its purpose, okay? So this sounds like one of them situationships or, yeah, it would become one. All right, so what's this Ten of Wands, Spirit? What's this, yep, Ooh, ain't that the truth okay so you got the eight of wands here and the ace of swords there may have been some news i feel i see whoever this is moving forward feeling burdened it's like it's reality it's they're experiencing they're aware now they're aware they may receive news very fast legal yeah about holy y'all this is a lot 
we're gonna have to see what this lovers is because I feel like this is what's contributing to the three of swords. It's what changed things with the death card. Okay, I'm also getting Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, what is this justice here for? Why is this justice here? What else, spirit? Mm -hmm. Yep, Empress. Ooh -wee. Chariot. Mm. And the Seven of Pentacles, y'all. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, definitely feminine energy can be man or woman, but someone is moving on. Moving on. Okay? And I feel like someone did not water this connection like they were supposed to. The Queen of Pentacles... I'm getting strongly Sagittarius energy, whoever this feminine energy receiving justice and moving on and moving forward. She has been taking care of this situation. Well, okay, yep, it is a situation ship for somebody. <laughs> I was going to say she has been taking care of this relationship, this connection. Um, but I just see that one person seems to be going through a transformation and it definitely could be this Empress energy. Someone also thought the grass was greener and now they're realizing, ooh, -wee, I see Sagittarius giving off this very positive, straightforward communication to whoever this is. Like, you know, bye. That's what I'm getting. Like, it, saying goodbye. Okay, what do we need to know about the Seven of Pentacles? Because this is interesting. Spirit, what do we need to know about the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Dang. It's interesting how some flip over and others don't, right? Okay, so then you got the Knight of Pentacles. So no offer. No offer coming. No offer being taken. This is beyond slow. This is no movement. All right? And that's what may have led you to look at this like, I'm not about to sit up here and put eight pinnacles when I'm the queen of pinnacles and the empress. Like, I'm just going to move forward because I know my justice and my karma is worth so much more. Okay, now someone else is left to, you know, feel the burden of not making a decision, not offering anything. Okay, because y'all are in this hermit energy. Like, you don't mind. This is This is like a little vacation for you. Okay, to be away from other people, to not... You know, respond to certain things, to have your phone on do not disturb, to not have external opinions and influences. I just see y'all really grounding yourselves and, you know, protecting your energy. Yeah, okay, y'all looking at things from a, a definitely a different perspective. Look at that. Look at that now. Okay, 10% letting up on us. Not not Sagittarius. Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee, y'all. Okay, so y'all definitely taking a look. You taking a different approach and you probably even offering less but still showing up as, you know, your best in this connection is it's allowing this person to reflect and temper themselves. OK, and I feel like communication may come in um, those who are not, you know, necessarily moving on moving like just done with the situation I feel like you just going to be you. OK, because it seems like y'all want an interdependent connection and you may even be aware that this person has maybe a lot going on as well all right and that they can't offer anything right now or they're you know feeling upside down and you know really trying to temper themselves and figure out what's going on with them financially and i'm getting as life okay so spirit is saying even you just showing up as a friend you know giving the bare minimum and focusing on yourself right now it's going to allow this person to you know it's actually going to help communication going forward, okay? And it's going to allow this person to come into their truth and clarity of what's going on, okay? And it's not going to get in the way of your progress. In the meantime is what I'm getting, all right? What else would you like Sagittarius couples to know, Spirit? What else would you like? Ooh. Yep, nine of swords, y'all. In the six of wands. Look now, pick one. Pick one, okay? Take it how it resonates with you. But I also feel like whatever coming, whatever happens in the dark comes to light, okay? And maybe you were stressing. Maybe you was, you know, worried and you weren't being the best empress you can be, but justice came through. Like, first of all, let me, let me remind me, <laughs> okay? 
while you're in this connection as well because some of y'all are forgetting that it is an interdependent con connection okay like you can still be this while this person works on themselves and figure out you know you just got to figure out what's what's worth tolerating okay because i don't really see too much negative energy for some people okay i just see this person may have a lot going on and y'all are doing well look yeah y'all see see look at that that's beautiful the strength card, the eight and the nine, like as soon as I said y'all are doing well, okay, being very courageous, okay, and very bold, a lot of attention, but you you can't be swayed easily, okay, there's a lot of conviction here, a lot of integrity with the strength card, some of y'all may have Leo in your chart as well, okay, make sure y'all go subscribe to our fellow tribe, Warrior Viking Queen, okay? She got that Leo energy, Sagittarius energy as well. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles, y'all. Like, you are focused. That's why you're in the Six of Wands energy. So, Spirit is saying, you know, maybe even weigh your pros and cons. So, you might have to realize that your strength, your strength in this, embracing your strength and being aware of it is going to allow you to make a decision of, you know, if you show up like this in the connection or you show up like this on the market, okay? <laughs> so let's see, Spirit. What messages? Either way, Spirit is saying, don't let go. This not a Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy. Don't do it, okay? This is your justice. You are the Empress. Overall, overall message, Spirit. Yes, don't do it. Protect your energy, okay? You get to pretending like everything is fine. You really gonna be look. Look, like I said, don't let nothing get in the way of this now. Okay, you're going to be clutching. Clutching and pinnacles. All right, so that is your reading, you all. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. And to energetically donate, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment something positive. Or you can send a donation through my Cash App or PayPal information in the description box. Please take care, you all. Bye.